Enhancing self-acceptance as well as self-improvement is an essential aspect of our personal growth and well-being. On today's episode of Insights, I'll be highlighting the strategies on which we can balance our self-improvement and as well self-acceptance. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. I am welcoming you all to yet another exciting episode of Insight. My name is Ola Simbo Akiela and thanks for joining the show. So on today's episode of Insight, we need to seriously balance our self-acceptance as well as self-improvement. Sometimes we need to accept the reality. Accepting the reality means accepting our wrongs and as well as accepting our rights. We cannot improve if we are unable to accept our wrong. Using myself as an example, I know I have some wrongs. I know I have some things which I do not like about myself. But how do I need to improve myself? I need to improve myself by first accepting my wrongs. And even if I choose not to accept my wrongs and then I try improving myself, will it really work? Does it really make sense? No, it doesn't. So all I have to do is to accept my wrong first before improving. And that is why self-acceptance comes before self-improvement. I know for some people it can be so, so hard. Some people don't even realize that, oh, they are not good in an aspect or they don't do this enough or they need to improve in some aspect. That is it. No one is perfect. I know you are not perfect. No matter the, the number of awards you've received in your career or something, you still need to accept some things and you still need to improve on some things. So I'll be learning out the strategies in which you can balance your self-acceptance and as well self-improvement in case you're finding it difficult to improve. So the first way is to acknowledge your what. I know you need to acknowledge your what. It is very important to acknowledge your what. First of all, appreciate yourself. Appreciate how far you've gone. Appreciate the good aspect. Obviously, I said no one is perfect. People obviously have their good sides and as well the bad sides. So you need to first acknowledge your worth. Start by recognizing that your worth as a person is not solely determined by your achievements or self-improvement effort. So you have to inherit value just as you are. Acknowledge your worth. Make that the first thing to do. Also set realistic goals. Some people, they are fond of setting unrealistic goals. When they ask you, okay, what do you want to achieve in the next five years? Some people say, ah, Probably this person is in under level and be like, oh, I want to enter the move. I want to enter this space. Let's set realistic goals. I know eventually you might you might achieve the goal, but at least there are some scientific achievements, there are some scientific goals in which you can achieve or reach before you have the opportunity, the grace to enter the space or just enter the moon. So set realistic goals with yourself. Set goals according to whatever you have access to. I'm not saying you should be stagnant or you should be comfortable in, in your comfort zone. No, but you need to be sincere with yourself. No, don't just set a, a ridiculous goal. Be like, oh, in this Nigeria of today, I know. Nigeria of today can be so tough and it might make things seem like a mirage. But obviously, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So you need to set realistic goals. Another way is practice self-compassion. How do you practice self-compassion? You need to have compassion on yourself. See, no one would have compassion on you if you don't have compassion on yourself. You see people that would always talk, oh, you are not doing enough. When people tell you you are not doing enough and you are even accepting whatever they are telling you that it is not enough, that is when you, you start creating an unrealistic thing for yourself. Have compassion on yourself first before expecting compassion from people. Another way is to celebrate your progress. Celebrate your progress. Please celebrate your your small wins. Celebrate your small wins. Even by the time you start producing journals, writing journals, making publications, you know, it's a gradual process. You understand? So a room wasn't built in a day. Celebrate your small wins and embrace your imperfection. You need to embrace your imperfection. That is embracing your weaknesses before you can improve on yourself. So embracing your imperfection means understand that everyone has flaws and imperfections. Instead of trying to eliminate them entirely, consider how they make you unique and human. 
And practicing mindfulness and self-reflection is very, very important. So how do you practice self-mindfulness and self-reflection? All you have to do is to regularly practice mindfulness and self-reflection through, and this helps you become more aware of your thoughts and feelings, making it easier to identify areas where you can improve without judgment. Self-care is very, very important. When they tell you, oh, if I don't take care of you, will will. Oh, it is because someone is there to weaknesses. If you are not there, nobody will take If no one is there, nobody will take care of you. So self-care, learn to care for yourself. Prioritize self-care, both physically and mentally. Taking care of your well-being is a form of self-acceptance and it provides a strong foundation for self-improvement. Another important thing is to learn from mistakes. Sometimes I have, I, I just, I sometimes honestly, I regret some mistakes I made in the past, but mistakes are meant to happen. They are bound to happen. So I tend to learn from these mistakes. I tend to learn from this reproach. So mistakes are valuable opportunities for growth. So instead of dwelling in the past, dwelling on their negativity, view them as chances to learn and improve. And lastly, balance is key. And it's a reminder, it is not an either or choice between self-acceptance and self-improvement. You can accept yourself while still working on becoming the best version of yourself. So balance is key and it is very, very important. And in case you're watching me and you have one or two hints in which you can help people to help fully balance their self-improvement and self-acceptance, Please do well to drop it in the comment section as I'll be replying every comment in this comment section. Please, if this video has been of benefit to you, please do not forget to comment, do not forget to share, and do not forget to like. And in case you have another topic you just want me to discuss on the show, please do well to drop it too. Till I come your way again next week, I remain all last symbol at Bye.